uh, spiritual religious symbols are used positively, they are infused with a certain level of consciousness and whoever gets in touch with them or is close to them feels it. But then the opposite is possible too. So you have, you know, in your work and, and with your service, you have actually uh, dedicated your life and your service to creating that positive and higher field of consciousness. So if we stay with the example of a home, a house, because that's one of the services that you do, it a, a big portion of that service and of your intention is to clear those negative impacting uh, uh, levels or fields of consciousness and and ideas, maybe even thought forms that are in that field. How do, how does that work, and what changes when when that is cleared? Clearing a field from the land or a property is in some ways similar to clearing um, negativity from ourselves. So when we're when we're making these requests to divinity through the through the FLFE system, we always write out the context of what we're trying to achieve. So the context is what is the ultimate environment in a home that supports and enhances the mission. The mission is to support the optimal conditions for the evolution of consciousness in an economized society, right? That's, that's a society where most of us have to work yeah, or we choose to work. Um, not everybody needs to work, I guess, but they, some, some people do because they like it. Um, so we, we write out all of the good things we can imagine that we would, that would be optimal in a home. So the parents respect each other. The children respect the parents. The parents respect the children to, you know, let them be their own autonomous person while guiding them with the wisdom they need to, to grow. Uh, people are in a good mood and, you know, there's hundreds and hundreds of the best possible intentions you can imagine. You write those all out and then you, then you, then we write them out in a way that, um, is going to increase the likelihood of them having positive impact. If you don't write them out in a way that increases the likelihood of them having positive impact, your intentions can be good, but not much will happen. And then we realized after a while that, like it used to take the, the property, the average property on FLFE to go from say, let's say the average property was 300 on the Hawkins map of consciousness. We're using the Hawkins map. It would take three days to go to 540. And then we were thinking, gosh, you know, it's probably, there's probably some way to get it to go faster. And then we realized that we had to clean out, we had to sort of like, if you're going to paint the house, you've got to wash the walls down first. Otherwise, you're just painting on top of dirt. Even if it isn't dirty, you're not going to get the same experience if you don't wash the walls and sand it and do your prep, right? So then we realized we needed to look at all the negative conditions that happened. So we made a list of all the negative conditions that could happen on the land. And that was two weeks of like consciously going into hell for hours at a time, making these lists. It was like, it was not fun, but we did that. And then we uh, made these requests to divinity, which is the information in the FLFE field to have those conditions be uh, mitigated or removed. And now the consciousness of the properties goes to, well, we set it at 550 as a default, but it can go there as, in as little as a few seconds. Yeah, and that's the surge you've oftentimes people feel, right? When that property just really goes up. So so to me, that's a principle I've been kind of playing with. And I'm still sort of chewing on the idea of the feedback loop. I have to I know there's some truth to it. I just don't know how high the truth is. You know, I, I will let you chew on that because I, I do I see it almost as an echo chamber. Is when you when you don't have a conscious understanding that there is a field that you're interacting with. Uh, you're you're kind of living on default by the programming that you receive, which most people do, right? There is no conscious thinking of it. So then whatever is there is what you pick up because there's no discernment, right? Because there's no, we, we can't, we don't know what we don't know in other words. So, you know, and it's, it's not a, I don't think it's an intentional thing. It's a subconscious thing that we do. You deserve the truth, but Big Tech does not want you to hear it. So we built our own inspired platform on the inspiredchannel.com. Just click the link in the video description or the pinned comment.